This is an important thing to remember. An uphill has a positive gradient and a downhill has a negative gradient. We are also interested in the steepness of a line or the gradient of a line. We need to know how many units to go up or down and how many to go across. Let's start with the two points A and B. The coordinates of A will be 1, 2 and the coordinates of B will be 5, 3. Now let's look at this line segment. We can see that as we move from left to right, the Y values increase. What we need to work out is by how much the Y values increase. What do you think the increase is, Rafilwe? Hmm, the Y value at A is 2 and uh, the Y value at B is 3. So the difference will be 1 unit up the Y axis. So I guess this is just 1. Now that we know how much the Y values have changed, we must calculate the difference in the X values. Okay, so the X value at A is 1 and the X value at B is 5. So the difference will be 4. Yes, a difference of 4 is a distance of 4 units on the Cartesian plane. It is this distance here between 1 and 5. When you write 1 to 4, it is the same as 1 over 4 or 1 divided by 4. So you can also say that the numerator or the top number is the vertical distance and the denominator or the bottom number is the horizontal distance. We can say that the vertical distance is the difference between the y values and the horizontal distance is the difference between the x values which means that the gradient is the difference in the y values divided by the differences in the x values. So the gradient is the second y value minus the first y value divided by the second x value minus the first x value. Now there is a short way of indicating the words the gradient of the line segment AB. We write M with a little AB next to it. So M of line AB is 1 divided by 4. There we go. We have a way to write down the gradient of any line segment. The gradient of PQ, which I can write as M of PQ, will be negative. If you work this one out, starting with Q's values, you will get negative 1 minus 1 divided by 3 minus negative 1. So that is negative 2 over 4, which is negative a half. The line segment has a negative gradient, so it is downhill if you look at it from left to right. The reason a line segment is straight is because the gradient or slope is constant. That means it stays the same.